There are a few positions in football that set the terraces alight more than an enganch or the classic number 10. When we think of an enganch, of course, we think of Juan Roman, Raquel May at Villarreal or prime Mesut Ozil at Real Madrid. Two playmakers who could decide a game in the blink of an eye, producing a piece of magic at any moment. Some would argue that the enganch is losing prominence in the game. A dying breed, such as the tactical emphasis on pressing, something a classic number 10 rarely does. But in today's tactical breakdown, with the help of Football Manager 2022, we will show you that there is still room for one of the game's most cherished roles. Now, Football Manager describes the enganch as the side's prime creator. A hook that joins the midfield and attack and operates behind the strikers and a playmaker who sticks to his position and becomes a pivot to his team as they move around him. Unlike the role of a Trek Ortista, it's a more stationary role as the enganch acts as the focal point instead of moving around into larger areas of space. Football Manager will also have three preset instructions for the enganch role. These are to take more risks, hold their position and dribble less with the ball. There are also a number of primary and secondary attributes Football Manager recommends for the role. The primary ones being here highlighted in green are first touch, passing, technique, composure, decisions and vision. And the secondary ones in blue are dribbling, anticipation, flair, off the ball, teamwork and agility. As you can see with those highlighted attributes, there's not much emphasis on the physical ability of these players, as we'll look at in some of our tactical examples now. The first one being Hakan Kalanoglu. He was perhaps the best example of a classic number 10 last season in Stefano Pioli's 4-2-3-1 for AC Milan, who was deployed in the hole, with his job being to find the killer pass and split open the opposition defences. The interpretation of a 10 has evolved over the years in Italy, with the role requiring a heavier emphasis on providing goals. Think Michel Platini, Roberto Baggio or Francesco Totti. But Kalinoglu's role last season was largely to create, with the playmaker registering 9 assists and providing just 4 goals. He also created 98 chances, the best return of any player in Europe's top 5 leagues, you can see from his passes received network that he rarely drifted from that classic number 10 area, collecting the ball in the hole and dictating play at his own pace. But now we'll quickly look at Kalinoglu on Football Manager 2022 and using the examples that I've just spoke about and how Football Manager wants an enganch to play in game. And you can see he's got some fantastic attributes that would fit that role really, really well. In particular, the primary ones, the, you know, the primary examples and the primary attributes that we looked at earlier on, first touch, passing, technique, really strong. Mentally, he's pretty strong as well, but it includes some really strong flair and vision, which is almost pivotal for this role. And he's got decent agility too. As you can see, physically, in terms of pace and strength, he's not overly gifted with that, but it's not essential for this role. And he also has that trait of finding that killer pass or tries killer balls often, which is what ex exactly what you want for an enganch. So here is Kalinoglu as an enganch with the current Inter Milan side. I've just quickly picked out a formation here with a back three or a back five, which Inter Milan tend to use most frequently. And if we add some Inter Milan players into it, this is a system that you could potentially use if you wanted to use a player like Kalinoglu in an enganch system. But of course, there are plenty of different ways to use it. A 4 2 3 1 is very, very easy as well, among a number of different formations that deploy a number 10. But here is an example of exactly what you could do Kalinoglu just finding that half space, that pocket of space, and trying that killer ball, which leads to a goal. And now we'll move on to our second player. There's a certain romanticism about a left-footed number 10 and Ruslan Malinovsky fits the description well. Something of a luxury player in Atalanta's system, he's a creative wizard but he does have some tactical limitations and there are certain question marks over his work rate which restricted him to just 22 starts in Serie A last term. His limited game time though serves well to understand just how devastating he was when on the pitch. Malinovsky finished in the 2021 Serie A season, having created the second most chances from open play, a staggering achievement when you consider how many times he actually started. In fact, Malinovsky finished the campaign as Serie A's top assist maker, setting his teammates up on 12 occasions from his heat map last season. You can see he operated in that classic number 10 position, stretching slightly wide into the half space when things got too crowded around the box. 
And Malinovsky is another player on Football Manager 2022, which fits the criteria and fits the attributes of an Engage very, very well. We can see by the attributes that are highlighted earlier on, once again, first touch passing technique. Malinovsky is very, very strong in these. Agility of 16, and again, has quality all across his profile. The one trait that sort of goes against the default instructions on an enganch role is run with the ball often, which Malinovsky has got. So playing in that role of an enganch will hold him back slightly. And finally, if we move over to the Premier League, James Madison is probably the closest we get to a classic number 10. He excels between the lines and has the trademark back to goal half turn, so familiar with the traditional enganch. If we go back to the 2018-19 season, Madison's first for Leicester in the Premier League, he completed the campaign with 100 chances created, the best return in the English top flight, and one of only three players to hit triple digits across Europe's top five leagues, alongside Papu Gomez and Memphis Depay. Brendan Rodgers' 4-2-3-1 accommodated an advanced playmaker, and Madison shone alongside Jamie Vardy. You can see from his passes received network in 2018-19 that Madison's predominantly collected the ball in the hole before turning and looking to find Vardy nearly every time. It was a devastating combo that saw Vardy net 18 times. And another look now at uh, Football Manager 2022 to look at James Madison. Again, another player not particularly gifted with pace, but in the engage role fits it perfectly. Good, good on the ball, a great passer, good technique and mentally very, very solid throughout. Those three players that we've pinpointed today would fit the role of an enganch perfectly. And now we're going to move on to a few more examples that I've picked out on the game. So we're going to stick with the Premier League for my first player and we're going to be looking at Bernardo Silva. Now, Bernardo Silva is a player gifted with world-class attributes on Football Manager. And there are a lot of players that can fit in this enganch role very, very well. But Bernardo Silva has got to be among the best of those. As you can see with uh, the attributes that we highlighted earlier on, dribbling, first touch, passing technique, technically fantastic. Mentally as well, the main ones being flair, off the ball, teamwork and vision, brilliant. And even his agility, 19 out of a rating of 20 for Bernardo Silva would make him a phenomenal enganch in Football Manager 2022. Sticking with world-class talents, this time we're going to be going across to Spain. And somebody you probably wouldn't associate much as a number 10 is Frankie de Jong, but attribute wise fits the role of an enganch very, very well. And um, we look at obviously the technical attributes again, dribbling, first touch, passing technique. Mentally though, de Jong is among one of the best players for this role. Anticipation, composure, decisions, flair, off the ball, teamwork vision, and again, a really strong agility rating as well. Player traits of Dick dictates the tempo, I think would work really, really well with this. And just in the hole, although he's not a traditional number 10, Frankie de Jong could be one hell of an option there. A player that isn't particularly gifted physically is James Rodriguez, but technically and mentally in Football Manager 2022, he is extremely strong. You can see once again with the amount of green attributes that are in, on his player profile here. And once again, good on the ball with his dribbling, but first touch passing and technique is phenomenal. And even his mental attributes, anticipation, composure, decisions, flair, off the ball, vision, teamwork. Look how strong they are. Again, an option. Now he's moved, um, you know, moved abroad, moved away from the Premier League. He may be a little bit more difficult to get due to his high wage, but he's a, a phenomenal player to bring in if you want to utilise that role in a system. We're now going to be moving on to Germany. We're going to be looking at Danny Olmo at RB Leipzig. Again, another player gifted with strong technical and mental attributes. We look again. I've said it how many times now, but the strongest ones are the dribbling, are, is the first touch, his technique is there as well, and mentally he's fantastic too. Really good, I think that plays one twos trait is going to work well for him just to find those pockets of spaces, and he could be, again, a very, very strong uh, gansh for you at 23 years of age as well. These attributes are going to grow, and he could become a really strong player. Now, to finish off, I've found two more sort of niche shouts. Uh, players that, at the moment, have still got good attributes to be an enganch, but also could grow to be a, an extremely strong player there um, over time. The first one being Thiago Almada. Now, I know uh, he has just secured a move to MLS in January, but 
he on Football Manager, he's, he's known as a football manager, great really, he's been a wonder kid on the game for a couple of years now, but he has really strong technical and mentals at the age of just 20. He's probably not as strong as some of the players you've already seen on this list, the more experienced players, but at that age to already have the dribbling rating of 14, your pe passing rating of 14, your technique rating at 16, your flair at 16, he's got the platform already to be a phenomenal, not just in Ganch, but a phenomenal attacking midfield full stop. You can pick up this guy for a very cheap price in the first year of Football Manager. When the winter update comes out next year or on Football Manager 2023, it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult to purchase, but I would fully recommend checking out Thiago Almada if you want a player in that number 10 role this year. And finally, we're going to be moving on to a player that you probably wouldn't normally associate as a number 10. Uh, is the young Englishman, uh, Marcus Edwards, who's currently playing in Portugal for Vitória. And he also boasts some phenomenal attributes that would be able to fit this role very, very well. He's quick as well, which helps, but with a really strong agility rating of 17. His mental attributes, again, composure of 16, flair of 17, vision at 16, and the technicals, the dribbling, the first touch, the passing, the technique... Probably a player you wouldn't have thought of, but I think these wider players that are good on the ball could also fit that role very, very well. But guys, hopefully you've learned more about the engaged role in today's video. If there's any other players that you think could fit this role well, do let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to check out our other player role description videos on the Squawking YouTube channel. And until next time, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you very, very soon.